Well, first of all, you know I'm a very, very proud of my, my guys. I thought they were terrific. Uh, I thought Xavier did a great job. They, and we, we said that they would have to make some mistakes for us to beat them tonight, and they didn't make any mistakes. They played very well. So uh, congratulations to Xavier. Well coached, good basketball team. <clears throat> but I'm proud of what my kids played. This, it was uh, uh, just an unbelievable effort. They, they played well. It's our third game this week. I was worried about us being a little tired. So you, know, you play three games in a week, it's really tough. But um, told them not to be sad. Man, what a great week. Unbelievable week. There's nothing to be sad about, uh, especially for me, I'll be honest with you. Um, the greatest week of my life, um, the greatest time I've ever had to be a father, uh, doing this with Kevin Ware and the rest of this team. But, man, this is uh, – I, I don't want these guys to be sad, man. This is uh, – uh, we helped Georgia State out. Georgia State people know about Georgia State. We'll be back. You know, we're going to get some young guys. But uh, it's not even about that right now. I just uh, – uh, as a coach, best time of my life, but as a father. <sighs> Doug Robertson with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. RJ, you are down by six with 2.55 left, about the same time, but even half the margin against Baylor. What was, what was your thinking? What was going through your head at that time? Uh, just keep battling, man. Uh, you know, after yesterday, we felt like anything was possible, you know, so um, we battled, man, all the way to the end. We fought and clogged, but man, that's a good team, man. Uh, D. Davis willed him, dude. He didn't make any mistakes. Uh, he's a hell of a player, man, hell of a competitor. And um, I'm proud, man. You know, that's how you go out. You go out swinging. And I thought we did a good job of that. On the right side, yes, ma'am. Shannon Russell, Cincinnati Inquirer. RJ, you guys were able to um, get a good handle on Matt Stainbrook. What, what were you expecting from Jalen Reynolds, who ended up um, scoring a career-high 21 points? Um, you know, I just thought he just got good looks. I don't think he was doing any moves or anything crazy. I just thought he was getting easy baskets. Um, I thought we gave Stanbrook a lot of attention, and um, he made good plays, and Reynolds is in good spots. Other questions for the players here in the front row? And we'll, you first, and we'll get to you next. Oh, no, hold on, G. Hold on. Go ahead. Get a microphone. Uh, either for Coach or RJ, when you guys walked off the floor, you immediately acknowledged the Georgia State fans uh, and coach, you, you you were clapping, and, and could you just talk a little bit about that? Instead of going out with your heads down and walking off solemnly, could you talk about how you acknowledged your fans? I mean, well, how couldn't you, man? They were down here like uh, we were at home. You know what I mean? They brought so much energy and so much, um, so much, you know, just support. Every time we went somewhere, it seemed like they were there, and um, they were loud and they were proud, and um, I think they understand what we did too. So. Uh, I just told our guys in the locker room, man, if you're crying, it's tears of joy because we completely just turned the culture of Georgia State. Anything to add to that, Kevin, if you don't mind? Can you repeat the question, please? Just about the fan support here. I mean, they've been here for us all year, you know. Honestly, we just had to pay our respects, you know. Um, that's as much as I can say, honestly. I'm kind of a little upset over here, honestly. Let's go here on the aisle in the middle. Uh, Robbie Rose announced from 92.9 the game. Is there one lasting memory? that you have from spending a week here in ja uh, the week here in Jacksonville? RJ? Go ahead, RJ. RJ? <laughs> this whole thing, man, I try to soak it all in, you know. Um, my first time in the NCAA tournament, I dreamed about this moment, and uh, it came to me, and uh, God blessed me with, uh, with, with a crazy week, man, the best week of my life. There's been so much going on, and uh, I can't wait to just sit down and digest it, man, not worry about the next game, you know what I mean? So uh, it's bittersweet right now. Bill Frampton, you're from CBS 46 in Atlanta. I saw you walking off the court with your arm around your son. Yeah. Uh, you've been able to coach as a father and a coach. It's been yeah. a unique time for you. How do you put that into words? You, you really can't. You know, um, um, again, I said it yesterday, man. If you're a dad, you know, um, just go home and hug your kid, man. I mean, this is a special thing. You know, I, the one thing that I, that, that I got from this is that you don't take these things for granted. I don't know if we'll ever get a chance to do that again. Um, you know, the next day is a promise to you. Uh, I've said it before. He's a really, really good player. But, guys, he is a much better son. And, and that's the fun part. And so, uh, um, you know, I, I just want to enjoy it. And I did. You know, my number one, you know, I wanted to win the games here. We were able to win one and not the second one. But my second goal was, and I, I obtained that, I wanted to be coached this weekend. I wanted to coach my kid and be a dad. And I was dad. I accomplished that. Third row in the aisle, yes, sir. Gary Smith, Florida Times. You know, Coach Ryan gave you some pretty good minutes yeah, at the end of the first yeah. half. Yeah. Was he just not able to go yeah. late in the game? Was it hurting a little bit too much? Yeah, we kind of pushed it a little bit, you know, we, and, and we knew we were going to do that. He, he did a great job of keeping us in the game a little bit early, made some tough, made some big shots. Uh, it was just so hard for him. 
defensively, we were worried because oh, you know, he, he, if you just went by him, you know, he, can only, he couldn't even move laterally. And so when we got down in the second half, we, we knew that it was going to be hard because we had to get stops. I mean, they were playing so great offensively, and we had to get stops. But uh, uh, if you had told me he was going to play 19 minutes, uh, we, we, we had no intention of, of get, getting done. So I'm proud that he gave that effort today to step out and come out and play.